Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Leah Toshie. Welcome. And today we are doing my November favorites. You guys know that these are my all time favorite videos to film. I absolutely love sharing products, skincare, hair things, fitness things, shows, books, everything. I love sharing things with other people because I love hearing that you guys also love the products or that you've tried it after I recommended it and you loved it. I love getting feedback from you guys through my DMs and in my comments. My absolute favorite thing and I personally love watching favorites videos myself. So before we get into the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I do weekly vlog on this channel as well. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first few things I wanna share with you are actually in the bathroom and are skincare related, but I couldn't exactly bring it over here. I mean, I could, you'll see, but let's head into the bathroom so I can show you the first few products. So the first thing is this little shelving unit that I got on Amazon. I love that it's white and wooden. It kind of goes with the aesthetic of our home. It holds the perfect amount of products in my opinion, and it doesn't take up that much space in this area. And even if it does, by having the shelves kind of separated, it doesn't appear to be big and bulky because it has that space in between. So it just looks a lot more petite and nice and clean. And I did also buy these two cute little jars from Amazon as well, which brings us to our next favorites. I'm obsessed with these two little jars. As soon as I bought them, I knew exactly what I was gonna use them for. It might sound weird, but because all of my skincare now looks so nice and clean and organized and not cluttered, I almost get more excited to do my skincare and to get ready for the day and to get ready for bed. Because when I walk in the bathroom, what I see is like this beautiful little shelving unit with all of my cute little products and these cute little jars. And it just looks so nice and pretty and it puts me in a great mood. I love it. But now I wanna talk a little bit about some of the products that I had on there. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this product that was sent to me in PR from Good Molecules. I had never tried Good Molecules. I've definitely seen them on social media, but there's just so much skincare out there. There's just so much out there in general nowadays. Like back in the day, there used to be a few skincare lines, a few clothing brands just here and there. And now the possibilities are endless, which is great because there's something for everyone, but it's also hard hard when there's so much to choose from. I'm a very indecisive person, so I just struggle with options. When there's too many options, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> so I, I have seen Good Molecules before, but I hadn't tried it. Good Molecules was nice enough to send me some PR, so I did try the products that they sent, and this was one of them. This is the Niacinamide Brightening Toner, and if you've watched any of my other skincare-related videos before, or just maybe in the vlogs I've mentioned, that I'm not a huge fan of toners. I'm very familiar with skincare. I went to esthetician school. I know all of the things, but toners are kind of a hit and miss because again, out there on the market, there's so much and a lot of the toners and little sprays and refreshers and things like that, that people use as toners aren't actually doing anything. So unless you just enjoy it, that's fine, but if you think it's actually doing something for your skin, it's really not. It's just kind of a waste of your money, extra step that you don't need. There can be many purposes to toners depending on the toner. Sometimes it has some AHAs or BHAs in it that help chemically exfoliate your skin, so I feel like those are useful. Um, if there's a purpose for the toner or the toner is doing something specific like brightening or helping with acne or exfoliating the skin in some way because of the ingredients, then I feel like it's worth it. But the toners that are just toners and just kind of fluff. I don't think they're bad, but I don't think it's necessary either. But this is, like I said, a niacinamide brightening toner. Niacinamide is a great skincare ingredient. It's kind of, I feel like niacinamide is the new hyaluronic acid. Like hyaluronic acid was all the rage and it's still great, but now everything that you're seeing has niacinamide. It also says that this is formulated with vitamin C licorice root extract, and its sole purpose is to brighten and improve the appearance of enlarged pores. My skin fell in love with this product. I feel like my skin has improved so much from using this product and I'm so sorry that I have a full face of makeup on. I wish you could see my skin and I should have took, I'm so bad at that, but when I start using a new product, I really should take before and after photos, but you'll just have to take my word for it. My skin 
has improved so much since using this particular product because I haven't changed my other products. So it's not the face wash that's doing anything. It's certainly not my diet or my water intake because they're both shitty and they have not changed at all. So this is the only thing that I've really changed and I feel like it's improved my skin so much. There is another product I wanna talk about that I've changed, but they have different purposes. But as far as dark marks and acne scars and just the smoothness and overall evenness of my skin tone, I feel like this has helped so much. I'm actually almost out, but I did just order another one a couple days ago. So affordable, has great ingredients. If you're just overall trying to improve your skin, I would highly recommend trying this. It's so good. It's like magic in a little bottle. And the next skincare product that my skin has fallen in love with and I have fallen in love with is the Clinique Moisture Surge 100 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. I actually did a campaign with Clinique on TikTok for this product and they sent it to me and I was able to use it. I'm obsessed with this. This is my new moisturizer day and night. You can probably tell that I've used a lot, if you can see, I'm not sure, but a little bit goes a long way, so it does last a long time. This is literally the moisturizer that I've been looking for. So when it comes to moisturizers, I'm looking for a bunch of different things, so I think that's why it's been so hard to find like that holy grail moisturizer that I've been looking for. So I'm always looking for hydration. Hydration is so important for everybody. Whether you have dry skin, oily skin, combination skin, you need to hydrate your skin. And I think hydration is key to anti-aging when it comes to keeping your skin young and supple and bouncy. Like your skin is thirsty, okay? Hydrate her. So hydration, and then I'm always looking for a texture of moisturizer that I like. A lot of times I have to end up getting two different moisturizers, one for daytime that's a lot lighter, but then I love heavy moisturizers at night. So finding a moisturizer that I can use both morning and night, but it benefits me to use it both times, if that makes sense. Like I can use it during the day and it's working wonders, but not making my face extremely oily and greasy and being able to use it at night and feeling like it's hydrating enough and doing enough throughout the night while my skin is like repairing and replenishing. And the last thing, of course, course for me I have acne prone skin and I'm always looking obviously for products and moisturizers that aren't gonna break me out so this little jar of magic that they sent me has completely changed my life this product is extremely extremely hydrating without being heavy or thick or oily this is that girl this is so hydrating this is like everything you need in one bottle 10 out of 10 recommend. If you are looking for a moisturizer, you need this. If you don't know what to get someone for Christmas, get them this. And then last but not least for skin related products, this is not skin care, but it's a new product that I love. But it is the Freck Longwear Freckle Makeup. I'm obsessed with this for my makeup and my no makeup days obsessed so what i'll do is i'll take my little freck it's just a teeny tiny like this is so tiny it's the tiniest but you don't need very much obviously it's just a little brush like this i don't know if you can tell and you just dot little freckles on your nose but then you take your finger and you just go like this and it kind of spreads them all around and they look so natural and so pretty and it just adds like this i don't know kind of like a freshness to your fresh looking makeup if you are blessed with natural freckles and you have a ton of them i hope that you love them and i hope that you think that they're beautiful but if you don't have freckles or you want more freckles definitely get freck it's so good okay next i want to share one of my favorite things in the entire world and it keeps my world going round and it is my planner i am a planner gal i always have been since elementary school i need my planner and i cannot use the computer planners or the phone planners or the electronic planners i cannot do that i have to write everything down i have to write it down so i still to this day buy a planner every single year i have to and honestly it's my favorite thing to do when it's time to get a new planner i'm so freaking excited i don't always but i do typically get my planners from aaron condren they are a little bit pricier but 
but for me i justify the price because i literally use it every single day the entire year so it's worth it in my opinion but i love the erin conjuring planners because you can customize them in pretty much any way that you want so you can choose the type of planner you want if you want like a daily planner a monthly planner like a lifestyle weekly planner or whatever you want to call it and you can also customize the color of the spiral part you can customize the cover you can customize the pages you can put your name on it all kinds of things and they have so many options of covers to choose from this year i decided to do a customized cover which you can do on their site it's so cute and i decided to take the idea of a mood board or like a manifesting collage and instead of creating one on new year's eve and putting it somewhere i decided to kind of take that idea and instead make it the cover of my planner so this is what it looks like and i'll show you a close-up but you can put any photos that you want on here so i have a photo of me and vic on here i have balloons for a celebration i have stacks of money up here because you know we're always trying to manifest that coin i have some cute little inspirational um what do you call them not memes but like little sayings the top one says i'm creating the life of my dreams this one over here says set yourself free and then in the middle i put 2022 and i put this is my year so i can manifest that and think about it and see it every single day i also put a picture of a beach up here because i would love to go to a beach or to hawaii hopefully in 2022 the beach is like my place of peace and i feel so free and like i can let things go there i can breathe there i feel so myself there so i put a picture of a beach so i can manifest a little trip i put this super cute living room i'm wanting to either change our house a little bit or hopefully in the next few years get a new house so it's just a mixture of pictures that i like that i like to look at pictures that mean things to me and like little things that i can manifest and think about and remember my goals when i'm doing my day to day this just makes me so happy like this is the this is a planner that i'm gonna keep after 2022 is over just because i love it so much definitely check out aaron condren they've got the planners they've got um stickers and pens and like you know all the stationary type things so obsessed and so excited for 2022 next i have a few clothing items and one pair of shoes that i want to share if you watch the vlogs you've seen most of this because it was in the vlogs but if you don't these are some of my favorite things i've bought this month that i am obsessed with with the first thing is this teddy bear sweater that's what i call it i don't really know what it's called i guess a pullover my hair is all over it because i wear it 24 7 <laughs> but it's like this teddy bear pullover from abercrombie and fitch it is the most comfortable thing i think i've ever purchased in my life it's as if you took like a really soft blanket from target like the really really soft ones and made it into a sweater it's so comfortable so cute I love the color of it. I love my neutrals. I love to wear this with a pair of leggings and some comfy socks around the house. I've worn this to work. I do not care. It's so comfortable and so warm. So if you're that person that's always freezing like me, definitely get your hands on this because she will warm you up. Next is another sweater from Abercrombie and I'm obsessed with this sweater. It is like the perfect little grandpa sweater. To me, it's kind of like a grandpa sweater. It's got like the shape, you know, of the grandpa sweater. It's like a deep V with the buttons on the bottom and the big pockets. It's so cute and so comfortable and soft. Sometimes these knit sweaters aren't the softest things ever, but this one is really, really soft. And I like that the knit is pretty small. You know, with knit, there's always gonna be some holes. And sometimes the holes are big if it's a bigger knit sweater. And then it doesn't necessarily keep you warm unless you have like long sleeves on under it. This one keeps you warm. I've worn a tank top under this, like a tiny little crop tank top. So like my skin was exposed. I didn't have long sleeves on but when I put this on it really warms me up so I really love this it's cute to wear loungy it's cute to wear to work I'm obsessed definitely worth it i love the color of it it does look more off-white cream on the website and in person i don't know if you can tell in the video but in person it is more vanilla yellow or like do you remember manila paper from elementary school how it's like kind of yellow that's how this looks but it's still really cute in my opinion so just be aware if you are looking for a more off-white like white off-white sweater this is not that but super cute still neutral 10 
out of 10 recommend, especially for December coming up. And then the last clothing item has my makeup all over it because I wear it all the time. <laughs> but it is this cropped gray hoodie from Pretty Little Thing. I'm obsessed with this. I love it. I bought this to replace some of my old cropped gray hoodies that just weren't doing it for me. This one is perfect. It's so, I don't even know like why this sweatshirt in particular is so like plush. It's softer than your normal hoodie, but I love it because it's super soft. I love that though it's cropped, it's not super cropped because I hate when cropped stuff is cropped up to here. Like who the hell, I hate that. So I love that this is like a longer crop. It still reaches your high-waisted jeans or your leggings or whatever. And then of course, I appreciate so much that the sleeves on this are mad long. It's just the perfect hoodie. I got it in a size medium, again, from Pretty Little Thing, but I will have it in the description box. 10 out of 10 recommend, obsessed. And then lastly for wearable items, I got these super cute shoes from Amazon, bitch. Amazon. So let me tell you the backstory. So my coworker, Taylor, the one who got me the job, shout out to Taylor, we love her. She is obsessed with this online boutique and I can't remember what the online boutique is called but i'll ask her and i'll put it in the description box but she's obsessed with this boutique right so i was looking on the website of this boutique that she loves because she was telling me about it and i saw these shoes and i i immediately was like i want to get these shoes because i've been looking i have been looking she's been on the hunt for specifically a fall mule and i took a screenshot of it and i was like i'm gonna get these you know, after a little while, I don't need them yet. Fall was not here. So of course I wait too long. And when she reminds me, she was like, did you get those shoes? Did you get them? Did you order them? I was like, I forgot. So I went back to the screenshot I had taken of the shoes. I found the shoes again on the website. Of course, they're sold out of my size. This was the shoe, the perfect shoe. I should have bought it as soon as I saw it, but I didn't. So instead I looked up the brand of the shoe. They're by a brand called Beast Fashion. And I thought, you know what? Boutiques online all buy their shit from another place, right? So someone else has to be selling them. So instead I looked up Beast Fashion Mule and these popped up on freaking Amazon for the same exact price that they were being sold on the website, which I think was like 35 or $36 or something like that. They had the same exact shoe, the same exact color I wanted and they had my size. So in the end, I got the shoe that I wanted from that boutique from Amazon. These are so cute. You can wear these to brunch, to lunch. You can wear them to work, easy to walk in, super comfortable such a vibe like picture this with like high-waisted light denim mom jeans and then a cute cropped sweater are these not so cute and guys that is pretty much it as far as products for my november favorites but there are a couple of movies and shows that i want to share with you because we are approaching the holiday season i guess we are in the holiday season but we are approaching the christmas season once thanksgiving pass it's automatically already christmas right so i have been of course watching all the Christmas movies on Netflix, the Hallmark Channel, Lifetime, all the corny Christmas movies, all the good Christmas movies, all the classic Christmas movies. So I wanted to share two Christmas movies that I'm obsessed with and a Christmas show. So the first movie, which you guys have probably seen these because I think they're trending on Netflix, but the first one is Love Hard. It's like the cutest modern day Christmas movie ever. It's basically about a girl who has no luck online dating. She lives in LA, which obviously it's like super hard to date in LA, but then she she comes across a guy on her dating app that she really, really likes and they hit it off right off the bat. They talk every single day, they connect so much, they have so much in common, blah, blah, blah. But then this guy is from New York and she's in LA. So they're on different sides of the country. So she flies across the country to surprise him for Christmas and all the things start happening from there. It is the cutest movie. After the first time I watched it, I watched it two more times like that same day. I've watched it like 10 times at this point. It's so cute. I, I'll watch it again tonight. And then the other movie Movie that I'm obsessed with and it's not new this year I think it came out last year on Netflix but you've probably all seen it if you haven't go watch it if you've watched it but you forgot about it go watch it again because you'll remember how good it is it's holiday with Emma Roberts it's so good again another modern Christmas movie basically Emma Roberts gets dumped by her boyfriend and then she goes and spends the holidays with her family and she's the only single person left in her family you know her mom's pressuring her to find a man and blah 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 and then she ends up running into this stranger at the mall they kind of like don't like each other at first of course but they have like cute banter and then they decide to beat each other 
other's holiday and just use each other as dates for the holidays so that they don't have to spend the holidays alone. Her mom will stop nagging her about finding a man. He'll have a date to like the Christmas party or whatever. And then of course they start liking each other, blah, blah, blah. It's a really cute storyline, but it's really funny too. So definitely go check out those two movies, Love Hard and Holiday, if you haven't already. And then lastly, I randomly came across this show on Netflix. I was looking for more Christmas movies to watch and there weren't really any. I've watched all of them, literally all of them. But then I came across this show that I thought was a movie, but it has, um, it has Ashley Tisdale. Hold on, it's kind of a stacked cast. Like it's got well-known people in it. Oh, it's got Bridget Mendler from, she was on Disney Channel, I think. Ashley Tisdale, Dennis, shit, I don't know how to say his last name, but he's been in lots of stuff. Oh, it has Garcelle Fancy from the Jamie Foxx show. She's in it. It's a really good show, but it's basically a show about a family of siblings and their dad, and it's kind of like crazy and chaotic. Bunch of kids, different ages. Some are married, some are dating, blah, 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 and they each have their own issues, you know, but it's all around the Christmas time, but it's so good. I laughed, I cried, and I literally watched the whole thing in one day. I want to say it was only like eight episodes, and it's there's only one season so far, but it's so good. Okay, yeah, so it's only eight episodes, one season, but it's so worth watching and so good. But that is it for all of my November favorites, but I hope that you found something that you liked or that you wanted to try in this video. As always, don't forget to comment down any of your current favorites, share it with the class, we wanna know, especially around this time when we're all trying to find Christmas gifts for people, we need ideas. So comment down your favorite things. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate y'all's love and support so much. I feel like this year on YouTube has been somewhat of a roller coaster for me because of all the things that happened to me this year. I started my vlog channel once I got fired from my job. I kind of switched up my channel a little bit on what content I wanted to put out. But despite all of that, I feel like you guys have been so supportive. You've been watching the videos, you've been liking them. And I'm so appreciative because you never know when you make changes if people are gonna like it or not. So I was worried, but you guys stuck in there and have been so supportive. And I appreciate you so much. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on TikTok. I've been very active on TikTok lately. Follow me on Instagram. And if you shout out my channel or this video on your Instagram stories, be sure to tag me and I will repost it. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!